Ooh, new lens, love it. Action. Happy New Year, friends. I hope you all had a great holiday. I've got a cold right now and I'm having real trouble shifting it, so I might sound a bit weird. I got a new zoom lens for Christmas. Yay! It's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, the old one was toast, so that's bad. Uh, so last year I did lots of casting, some electronics, a few paintings, and a few other more random projects too. And the channel got a lot bigger. And I think 2020 is going to be a good year too. I've got so many project ideas lined up, the difficulty is going to be finding the time to do them all. There's my safe cracking robot. I hit a roadblock with that previously and I put that aside for six months or so, but I might have found a solution for that. So I'll be making some videos about that soon. I've got lots of patterns ready for new castings and when I'm a bit better, I'll be able to start those. What might this be? Oh, is it a tiny weeny cannon? <laughs> oh, I'm super excited by this. So because it's really chunky, this is gonna be an interesting one to cast. I think I'm gonna cast it uh, upright. Traditionally, cannons are cast upright like this so that any shrinkage happens in the, in the bore. But we'll see, it's only a weeny one, even though it's pretty, you know, it's pretty girthy for a casting. Uh, but I've got a feeder thing here, and I've got, and I've got a kind of a unique, very long split pattern sprue system. So that'd be an interesting one. So while I've been ill, I've been playing computer games. I've been playing Elite Dangerous, and I used to play Elite back on the BBC Micro when I was about 12, back in the 80s, or maybe 90s. I think it was the 80s. So this is a little spaceship from Elite. I'd love to cast that in bronze. A lovely little thing that would be. Uh, what else? Oh, for Christmas, my wife and I got a, an espresso machine, like a, a little Diddy, well, it's not Diddy. I bought it off eBay, so it's a semi-professional one, but it was so cheap and uh, it is amazing. Uh, it's actually giant for a house, but uh, it's a small one if you're a commercial person. <laughs> but anyway, a, a tamper is what I need. So I printed this one and it fits the espresso doodads perfectly. Really, it'd be much nicer to have a fancy bronze one. And so that's what these patterns are for. So this one has got a feeder and the gate and then the actual tamper here. And of course it's a split pattern. Um, I've actually made this one 4% bigger than it needs to be because I think bronze shrinks, but how, by how much I don't know. So I really want it to fit just right. So interesting casting that will be. What else have I got? Oh, I've got an update on the modular flasks. We're now on to 6.8. So the one that was released was 6.7 and people are making these flasks. Uh, they're at least casting the size. I've not seen a finished flask yet. Uh, one guy said that the fingers were too tight on his printer and he just chopped them off and glued them together and it was all perfectly good. So that's really cool. Some other person said, oh, it's been a while and I'm not very well. So I apologize if I can't remember what people said. I'm so chuffed, people are actually printing these things and they're gonna try and make flasks with them. So that's brilliant. So this is 6.8, 6.7 is this one. As you can see, I've got war grades corner pieces in the 6.8 and the ribs are even more reduced. So they're even flatter here, uh, which means the handle is more reduced, which probably means less shrinkage. And, oh, I can't remember who it is. I'll put your name up on the screen if I can find you. But someone came up with such a great idea. It seems obvious now. Because I put them like this in the mold, I have to dig out this bit of sand. Well, I've 3D printed some followers and what they do, You see here on this, uh, on this corner piece, there's two little holes there, and there are two little holes there, and they, there are pins that fit. You put that on the bench, and then that using the pins, and then you, you fill it with green sand as per usual. And when you flip it over, instead of having to dig out these end pieces, you just remove this little follower piece, and you've got the perfectly wedge-shaped hole. That will save a lot of time. 
So that is awesome. So this is the 6.8 version. So that's really exciting. You guys might not remember, but a long time ago, I tried to make some axes and they were terrible. The only one I managed to complete was the, was the Ragnar Lothbrok one. And I'd like to go back to the Saxon axe and redo it because I would love to get this. I love the shape of it and I would love to get a nice casting, a nice bronze axe. And I think I'll sharpen this one. I'll make it like a proper usable axe. So that would be a really fun thing to do. Oh, I can't wait for this. This is going to be so cool. I've also got to sort out my green sand once and for all. It's been far too wet for a while. And while I've been ill, I've had it laid out all on the workshop floor for a good week with the fan blowing across it to dry it out. A muller is what I really need, but until that happens, I've got myself a heavy duty tarpaulin to mix and condition the sand with, uh, with my feet. Something I've been doing by hand up until now. I've got at least two casting collabs in the pipeline. I can't divulge details yet, but I'm really looking forward to those. Uh, I'm doing a mini digger, a tipper trailer, a molly trolley, a garden folly, an underground bunker, under the garden folly, of course. Loads of ridiculously ambitious things to do with so little time to do them. I've still got to fit in my marathon training though. Recently it's been absolutely exhausting and it's probably why my YouTube output has suffered these last few weeks. I'm sorry about that. The long Sunday runs are super long now at about 18 to 20 miles each. And after one of those, I'm basically finished for two days. I can hardly move. But the marathon is mid-March. So after that, there should be a lot more time for projects. In order to fit everything in, I think I'll be making smaller videos, but more often. I'd like to try and make one a week. We'll see how that goes. I know I've said that before. I also want to experiment with different formats too. Maybe some with no chats to camera. Maybe some with just a time-lapse form. And of course, the usual stupidly long ones for when I get time to do all the editing. So my New Year resolutions are to get well, keep marathon training, try to produce one video per week and keep on having fun doing it. That's my little New Year's message. I'm really excited for 2020. It should be a really fun one. I hope you guys have a lovely 2020. Bye. <laughs>